This is a goofy question, Mikhail. Okay, uh, we're, we're going to do push today, but but before that, um, thank you for meeting with me. I really appreciate it. Um, if like if you hit your butt or if you jump on a trampoline or jump up and down, does it move? Do you think like is it is it like steel? Because mine is feeling like that. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is weird. Like I jump, I have a tramp, a little trampoline, a mini tramp. And when I jumped on it this morning, I was like, oh, nothing's moving. Nothing's <laughs> I mean, moving my, back my down. Body's move, my breasts, my breasts move. That's it. <laughs> <It's real. laughs> okay. Um, okay. So I set it up. You can see down right below. Right there. Right there. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the, the single leg squat first, but if I can do it, Shh, can I also do the the double leg squat the yes, same? Yes, you can. Yes. Okay, let's see if I can, because they're different, right? You get a different. Yes. They'll they'll work a little bit different. Yeah. And you always want to practice both of it. That way, you have the ability to do both. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'll do the ones that are set up first. Okay. Appreciate right. you so much. No problem. Okay. I know, it's not like a snake. When I was in Australia once, there was a snake and it had eaten a pig and you could see the whole pig in the belly of the snake and the snake did not- Well, it had to be a big snake. It's a lot bigger than that little thing. Yeah, it was a huge snake, but it wouldn't move. It was totally safe. You could pet it and it didn't care. It was so- Try to put the band under your heel. My heel? Under the heel, not in the midline, under the heel, right there. Really? Yeah. Why? That because happen. let's say if you had a really strong band and you placed it under the arch of the foot, it's obviously going to pull that part up. The heel's pressing down into the band. It's going to okay. keep it more stable. Okay. That makes sense. I already have high arches, so don't need that. Okay. <clears throat> Very good control. Maybe next time we ought to use the foot plate to make it a little bit harder on the bottom. Okay. Good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Good, good. What do you mean about the foot plate? Huh? What did you could put the foot plate and then step on it. And then you do the, then you do the, so you put it, so you have it basically the same way you do, you set it up for the front squat where you put the foot plate, but yeah. instead you do single leg squats with your foot down the middle of the foot plate. And, and that's harder? Yes, because now the, the band's shorter. Right, okay, the band is shorter. But that, so that makes it harder. It'll make it harder on the top. Yeah. And the bottom okay. will be harder also because it's starting from a lower standing point. Good. Okay, I'll do All that right. next time. Yeah. Um, I thought this one was harder because you need the balance. Yes. Well, it is, but you, what I'm saying is you do single leg squat with the foot plate. That right. makes it harder because now the band's shorter. But I mean, when the thing is under your foot, isn't it more balanced there or is it? No, because it's a lot. Uh, yeah, in a sense. But the thing is that it's it's a the band is has less tension. Right. Right. Okay. Starting from a higher starting point. 
Right. Okay. Gracias. Trust me, I do the single leg squat now with the band doubled under the foot plate, like in deadlift. That's how you do it? Mm-hmm. I'm not ready for that yet. No. But not I, very many people are. But that's a really cool image. Wow. That's a lot harder. <laughs> really? Well, if the band's double, like in a deadlift, yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> like, it's obviously harder. <laughs> it's obviously a lot harder. Try to move your, your back foot a little bit more forward. Let's try to have your, yeah, a little bit more. But I then, want you to be a little bit more forward. Then I won't be um, even from the other leg. Let's not worry. Let's do this one this way, like I'm telling you. That way we could practice something. I want to see how. More? Right around there, right there. And I want you to try to go up straight up and down with that back foot. So that back the back foot is just going straight up and down. You're standing straight up. And keep yourself straight. Wow, you can see your leg working there. <laughs> it's harder. Yes. Wow, good. Oh man. <laughs> wow. That hurt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> uh, so I won't do the double leg squats yet, right? You do them afterward, okay. You do the other stuff first. I think okay. some of the other stuff at least. All right. Because we don't know if we can move the legs. <laughs> well, even getting into the, the shoulder press becomes hard because you're tired. Okay, remember, I want your shoulder press to be like this. Right. Out in front, not, not with your... So notice that not like this. Don't do this. It's the, the elbows are always pushing under the bar. Yeah. Um, let me just, can you just show me in a minute? Let me just do this and then show me one more time what you're saying. Watch, don't put the band on. So Face the, uh, grab the bar and, but no, but grab the bar, but without the band. Now come here and just go like this. Grab the bar, be like uh -huh. this, right? Uh -huh. Elbows forward, a little bit wider on you, a little bit wider, uh, where you're comfortable. Keep your elbows forward, squeeze your lats, take out your chest. Now push straight up, let them rotate out, right up to the right there, back down. And pull them back down, squeeze your lats and pull them back down. Ro so basically rotate it in and out, in and out. Front to the side up like that, okay? Yeah, that was better with the empty. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. Estoy muy contenta. I'm gonna get my gloves. Okay. And this is a lighter band. Last time you said use a lighter band. Mm -hmm. So this is a lighter one. Okay, so I'm here. Straight up from there. Don't let the elbows go forward. Keep the bar, right? Come back down now. It's just the band is in the way. That's okay. You move the band with your with your elbows. They they stay next to your elbows. Right there, right there. Squeeze now, squeeze up. Now right back down. Keep your elbows like that. Perfect. Squeeze tight and back up.
You can move a little bit faster during the movement that's going up. So you could, you know, you want to push up a little faster so you could break. There you go. And squeeze at the top. Resist down and then push up, squeeze. There you squeeze. Yeah, you want to keep the bands like right behind your elbow like that. That's why you don't want to straighten out. If you straighten out your elbows completely, then the band jumps off you. Right. Good, good, right there. Remember at the top, pass your head through. Yeah. Like feel like you're passing your head through the window. Okay. Okay, but don't stay there forever. <laughs> just, just, it. It, it keeps on moving. Yes, you want to move in a, in a smooth motion. Why do you want your head through? Well, when you're getting the first reps, you want your head through because you want to peek through the window. That way you shrug up. It's like looking through the window. It's called looking through the window. Good. See, this were this was much more effective than the last time. Yeah. This, this is the right amount of of tension for you. Once you feel really tired, then lower to one knee, and then the next one. That way, you could get more. Okay, now hold it right there, tight. Lower one knee and put it on the on the plate. Yeah. Then the next one. Yeah. Stay tight and go. And remember to squeeze your abs as you go up. I'm trying. I forgot. Wow, I'm impressed. Most people don't try to push this much. <laughs> oh, dang it. Good job. Thank you. You're a good. You're a good teacher. Good job. I'm gonna go grab the computer's charger. Just hold on. Okay. Oh. Yep. Remember when you used to put your hands in the door frame and then press, and then they go up. This does it. Wow. Okay. All right. Now you're gonna do what? Chest press? Uh, I think uh, I'll do tricep. Front squat. Do it that way. Okay, but you, you wanna do, oh, that's, you don't do chest press? Which ones don't you, don't you do? I do try. I do triceps like that. Uh-huh. And it's set up. Okay, but are you gonna do chest press or triceps? Which one are you gonna do first? Triceps, because it's set up. No, Okay, yeah. all right, all right, all right. Do it, do it, do it. And then, then chest press. Okay. Okay. Tighten the belly. Mm -hmm. Right up to right there. Don't go all the way straight. Don't, don't go all the way up because then you lose like right there and squeeze right there. Squeeze my... It'll make it much harder. What am I squeezing? Your triceps. Okay. Good. This move does take a lot out of people. Oh my God. Lower to one knee. Keep it behind you. Keep it behind you like that. Lower to one knee. Okay. And continue from there. Oof. Oof. Uh. <laughs> oh my 
God, that hurts. Yes, it does. Oh, okay, now. It does hurt a lot. It hurts. <laughs> it could hurt, though, because then you feel stronger. And if you're shaking, which I am, I think I'm making more HGH. Good. Getting my band. Oh, my God. You really are good because you know what you're doing. It is very happening. That's not the right word. <laughs> I get dumb when I do this. It very makes me happy. Well, it does. It, it releases endorphins. It's good to work out. Yeah. I when in that. doubt, work out. That's what I, that's my saying. What did you say? No. When in doubt, work out. People are always waiting for a good time to work out. Work out. It'll make the it'll make the good time. Yep. It'll make everything better. Not working out makes it feel worse. When we know almost every situation. Yep. So if things are going bad in life, do the workout. It'll make that a little a little bit better. Yep. I'm putting this on both sides, right? To double. Is that what we did the last time? You shortened it both sides. Yes. Okay. I did. So. A friend of mine from the X3 group said, you remind me of this comic. And it, it's funny because I knew her. I still know her, but I haven't talked to her in a while. But uh, I used to know her a long time ago. And it's so cool. She's just on the Tonight Show. She's really funny. I'm not that funny, but she is. OK. And I am. Keep yourself tight. Push. Come back. Like to right there, right there. Don't go any further. That's a bird. Good. We were trying to get to the ones we want. What? Good. Now we're at the point we want. See how you're starting to push slow? Okay, push into it slow, slow, slow. Squeeze, squeeze into it. There you go. Come back slowly, slow. Don't re... Now push into it slow, slow, and squeeze into it. Good, good. Tighten your stomach as you're squeezing into it. Come, Let it come back slowly and stretch you, stretch you, stretch you. Back forward, squeeze into it, and push against it with your stomach. Good. Push against it again. Come on. Good. You got at least three more. Come on. Good. Keep on. Hey, you do good. You good. You do good. Diminishing range. You have a lot of mental focus. Yeah. Women tend to do the diminishing range a lot better than guys do. It's the it's the cold, cold therapy. Okay, it's the cold therapy. You can handle the cold. I, no, uh, women always do diminishing range better than guys. Yeah, that makes sense. By far. You guys have a lot more pain resistance or or, or I guess the, the muscles themselves, I guess, stretch more or do they have more ability. The, the guy will generally cramp a lot quicker that it doesn't let him move anymore. Right. Women tend to have more re ability to keep on pushing a bit that into the shorter ranges. Yeah, not always, but more women tend to be more flexible. Yeah really not compared to you but um but but so then maybe that's part of it too but also i think more women might be more attuned to their own kinesthetic understanding you know what i mean 
like they can feel their body more, maybe, you know, I don't know if that's true. This is going to try. The okay, let's first get under for a moment and show me how you move without the bar or just get the bar by itself without the band. I want to see first your movement. Okay, but let me take a minute. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see you need a minute. <laughs> even even just moving your leg, uh, you're crashing the stuff. I know. My whole body's shaking. Okay, so if I had the bar, mm -hmm. that. I'm going to back up from the window. Okay. I want you to do something else. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Uh, you see the first thing you did, and this is not because you got a nice long torso, is you let your knees go out first, right? Uh -huh. Then once you get here, you start doing this to come yeah. down, right? Yeah. We need, let me see, I don't have a place, but whatever, I'm wearing this. So you need to try to stay, where if you want, open your legs more out, right? So they're out. You gotta think of your legs of twisting your hips this way okay. and twisting it this way. So you need to open because what you want is to sit down between the legs, not back in a back squat. Right. So you need to open uh -huh. and sit down. See how my torso is staying up? Because yeah. I'm sitting down rather than letting, and then going like, and then letting yourself go like this, you see? Uh huh. You want to be down here and so that, so you're opening your legs and sit down between them as much as possible. Okay, we're going to try that. I okay. think I don't have as flexible ankles as you. We just try. Yeah. Well, but that's why you have the, the risers work. Yeah. Let me just try it without. The so problem. actually, it, it works better if you actually have your legs closer in your heels. Like that? Yeah, your heels closer in so that you could have your knees go out that way to the side. Right. Sorry. And sit down, think of sitting down straight. Okay, much better. Okay, let me do the bar. I might just wear out on just that one, what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get down on right there and let's set up from there. Right there, before you stand up, I want you to already get tight. Pull your back tight. All right, from there, now just go straight up. There you go. Cut, stop right there. Don't go all the way up. Right there, right there, right there. Down, up, right there. Up right there. You don't have to come all the way down. I don't want you to come all the way down. Comes down straight as best as possible. Open your legs. Up right there. Up right there. You don't have to come all the way down. Right there, squeeze down. Up. Because I want to, uh, I want you to avoid going to where you're leaning so much. Let's go down, down, like that, like that, like that. More, more, right there, up. Squeeze into it, nice. Down, down. We don't want to, we don't want to rest at the top. We want to just squeeze our way into it and come back down. Up, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Back down. Ooh, this looks beautiful. Up, your legs are like that on fire. Oh. But did I tell you, once you get tired, what do you do? Sit down. Do not fold forward because if you had a heavy band, that would snap your shoulder off on your back. Okay, so as soon as you can't push anymore, just yeah. squat back down. Okay. Are you totally right? So that you lower the tension. You yeah. always want to end up. People do this when they end up in, in front squats or, or, or back. They, they're, they're tired and they go like this. No. You get tired, just go like that. Now you're okay. down, throw the bar. Yeah, that's what you said for the front squats, but I didn't. Yeah, for the front squats or open. anything, you want to lower yourself completely in the in the form. You don't want to. Let's say you had the knee band, you go like this. What are, you're hurting yourself. It's gonna go. Okay. Right. Right. So you want to always once you're tired. Okay, you're you're tired, but you're always able to go back down. Go back down. Always maintaining the form. Okay. Always maintaining your core pressure. You want to always maintain your form. Awesome. All right, you did good.
Um, I know that was shaking right there because that was hard. Yeah, yeah. Right? Whole, so little bit by little bit, your actual uprightness will improve. Yeah, it'll, it'll improve little bit by little bit. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'll watch this to see. Thank All you. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Merci beaucoup. Uh -huh. uh, Passez une bonne journée. Et, uh, the best. You, you gotta pas... come in the, in the next episode. You speak French and I'll just speak whatever and we'll see how we communicate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, they don't let us. You're from, are you from, where are you from? Cuba. Oh, I love Cuba. I've been there. That's so cool. Do you have... uh, I've never been there since I was five, so I don't know. <laughs> you don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. They said, right. uh, thank you. Okay. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so you much. Bye-bye. Yeah. <sighs>